because today we're gonna be talking about the relationship that happened on the movie girl picture between Mimi and Emma but before we get into more details regarding this movie and regarding their relationship I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who likes who comments who shares and who subscribe to the channel thank you thank you so much once again for all the love and all the support and I also wanted to say if you guys have watched this movie please let me know down below in the comments what is your personal opinion regarding it and I also want to say yes the movie is from Finland so you don't have to worry there are actually subtitles available just in case you know you don't speak the language you don't have to worry about that because me personally I also had to watch it with subtitles but I really enjoyed the movie so I would definitely recommend you to go watch it if you haven't watched it and I also want to say that I've just activated the super stickers to the to the channel just in case any of you would like to make a small donation I would really appreciate it so, lot on, so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video and talk about this relationship so basically the, the girl picture is about young woman who tried to deal with the persistent winter darkness in Finland you know in the process they also have to deal with dreams reality friendship and relationship and try to make sense of the whole mess that's going on they are young they're in high school they're trying to figure out you know their professional careers they're trying to figure out you know a relationship family issues from both ends both from Ima uh, and both from Mimi's side you know so the Ima and Mimi they actually have a very passionate relationship right out of the bath and one of the reasons why I said it because as soon as they met like just a couple of days after they started to see each other so it was very quick and very intense very passionate very very passionate they go through a lot of ups and downs you know a lot of disappointments as well but Emma you know basically Emma has dedicated her life to figure skating you know and she wants to become a professional figure skater so she dedicates her whole life to that you know she cut in that comes with a lot of pressure from her coach from her mother and from herself because that's all she does during the day you know figure skating figure skating practicing practicing because it's trying to make it to the champions you know to the competition you know and Mimi is a very rebellious uh, person who goes through a lot of issues with her mother and she's a very angry young person and she gets into a lot of arguments and fights and all of that so that's how they are very different when it comes to personality wise Emma and Mimi has a very intense relationship you know and actually Mimi Mimi was the one who made the first move you know on Emma and Emma was very receptive about it because they had an immediate connection as soon as they met but as the movie goes on and they start to get involved with one another they start dating and you know uh, uh, and they start dating and everything is going well Mimi got involved with someone else in in Emma's presence and this was one thing that I did definitely didn't understand why I, I kind of got lost in that situation but I feel like uh, Mimi felt pressured by Emma's perfection and she and she Mimi she actually deals with a lot of insecurities so she did this thing in front of uh, uh, in front of uh, Emma that really bothered me because you know they went out to a club and then Mimi start, started to feel a type of way she started to speak to another guys Emma was looking for her and when Emma found her you know she was talking to the guys and then they went back to the guys' place and they started you know having like conversation and hanging out and then Mimi decided to start hooking up with this guy in front of uh, in front of Emma and I was like wow did she really do that but I feel like there was the pressure she couldn't sh sh she didn't know how to deal with Mimi she didn't know what she she and Mimi was doing so she thought it was okay for her to do that and of course Emma got super upset she went out of the house she broke something and then of course Mimi went after her and after she went after her you know Emma told her leave me alone and after that they actually broke up and one of the reasons this happened is because um uh Mimi is dealing with a lot of problems you know when it comes to her family when it comes to her her sister she has a very difficult uh, relationship with them and she's trying to make it better and by you know being with Emma really helps her because Emma is the whole opposite of her so it makes her be more understanding of other people's point of view so after the breakup you know uh, Emma was furious and, th and think of course things ended Emma feels good you know and after time went by time went by they actually went their separate ways but Mimi while all of that was happening uh, Emma ended up going to the championship and she actually ended up passing the first phase so that was good to see and Emma makes it into the champions you know to the next part of the competition and you know and Mimi felt so bad the fact that she wasn't there for Emma when she more most needed it so she ended up going to her to try to make things right at a party that they were giving to to Emma to celebrate her her victory she didn't know how to approach you know Emma because of everything that happened but she finally got the courage she just let it go and she approached her and she kind of apologized to to two 
uh, you know to emma of course emma was like uh, i don't know but she was also expecting mimi to show up so so when she saw mimi actually there you know to to congratulate her and to spend that moment with her really 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 made her realize okay she 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 recognized that she messed up and she had to fix it and of course mimi approached her and apologized to her and she was very forgiven but still very hurt about it and she was like okay you know and that's how they got reunited again and yes this movie has a happy ending so i just want to get that out of the way and I also wanted to say there are two complicated women that finds comfort in one another because Emma, you know, uh, Emma goes through like a very, very hard phase with the whole career situation. And then here comes Mimi, a girl that takes her out. They go have fun. They go party. You know, it's just like for it's like an escape, like a getaway for her. And the same goes for like vice versa vice versa uh you know ima is a very dedicated person to her career and mimi is very like already said like very different you know so when so when mimi sees ima in her career doing all this stuff it motivates her to also get on her path and do her thing you know so they complement each other very well i would definitely say that i don't i don't want to give out too much details regarding the movie because i want you guys to actually do go watch it and to go support the movie i would definitely recommend you guys it's a nice young fun loving movie you know it's very straight to the point it's not that like if they go long ways it's like very 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 straight to the point and i would definitely recommend any anyone to go watch this movie you know even though I, like i already said in the beginning of the video i had to watch it with subtitles but one of the reasons i love this movie is because it has a happy ending and i know how difficult it is for lgbtq couples movies tv shows series anything you know to have happy ending and this one actually has a happy ending so i was like yes i'm gonna share it i'm gonna you know give my personal point of view i'm gonna do my best not to give out like all the specific details so you guys can, can still go and watch it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i have enjoyed making it and i also wanted to say that i have just dropped the wolf bright kennel brand and the link of the store will be down below in the description just in case any of you would like to make you know to go and shop with us and support the channel i will also definitely definitely appreciate it and please let me know your thoughts regarding this movie down below in the description i will also really appreciate it and yes, guys, and also I just want to say, you know, um, we have a new month ahead of us. Please let me know what, what movies or TV shows are coming out so I can do a list to share it with everybody just in case, you know, and nobody knows about it. So I can go forward and do that. But yes, guys, that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I have enjoyed making it. And like I said, again, don't worry if you don't speak the language. Subtitles are available. I know me, me I'm the type of person I really don't like watching movies with subtitles, but I had to do it this time because I really found this movie and I saw the reviews regarding this movie was very very good so i had to go share it with you guys please let me know your thoughts once again go and watch the movie go and support it you know go watch it come back and leave a comment and let's talk about it down below in the comments to just share our own personal opinion regarding the movie i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope you guys enjoyed this movie and i hope i see you guys again at the next video and like i also said subscribe like comment share and subscribe to the channel and i hope you guys enjoy and goodbye